This is so fun. I love this. Me too. I'm going to get the timing right next time. That's my goal. <laughs> Three minutes late, but way better. We were doing way better right now than we were yesterday. <laughs> so it's progress. Yes. I love it. Okay. So I think we're live. Awesome. Yes, we are. Hey, everyone. Happy Sunday. Today's an incredible day, isn't it? Um, I don't know about you, but I woke up this morning and I started off my day with gratitude and Thanksgiving. And I am so happy and grateful that I have a gorgeous home, my happy, healthy children. I am happy and grateful that I have a business that I can work from my smartphone and that can go with me anywhere. I, I am also grateful, like I, I was thinking about it today, like how incredible this time is of, of life in history, because never has there been access to information, to learning, to great people like there is today. So if you're just hopping on with us today, what we're doing here is we are talking about life-changing income with a life-changing product. And this, what this means for you today is if for some reason you've tuned in, I don't know what, what caught your attention today, but something did. For some reason, you were prompted to be here. And because of that, I believe you need to listen in or listen to that prompting because there's always a lesson in your when your intuition hits you. That's called an intuitive hit. And so I believe that when we have a prompting or something comes across our radar, like take a moment to check in with yourself and ask, what does this mean for me? What am I, what's my lesson here? Um, maybe you're offended because I have pink hair. <laughs> Maybe you're offended because I talk about what I believe in. That is another prompting for you to take um, an assessment of yourself, right? To uh, like reflect on yourself. Because anytime we have a judgment about something, it doesn't matter what the, what the thing is, um, there's a lesson in it. And so thank you for tuning in. If you're catching us here live on the Zoom, Bravo, thanks for showing up. You can be chatting and interacting with us and each other throughout this live stream. If you're joining us there on fa Facebook, big shout out to you. Please say hello. Where are you joining us from? What are you grateful for today? Type it in the comments. I am grateful for dot, dot, dot. And if you're catching the replay later, please type replay and let us know because everyone that clicks the share button on the Facebook Live and comments will be entered to win our giveaway. And I'm going to call it the angel giveaway. So you don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be something that makes you feel uplifted and inspired. I can guarantee you that. So thanks for everyone for tuning in. I see Peggy, Carmel, Heidi. Hey there, Elaine, Kaya. Everyone is here today. So thank you. Don't forget forget when you click the share button to um, write a little blurb and use the hashtag thrive more. Jason, our co-CEO, has suggested that in the year of 2019, all of us commit to thrive more. And I remember when I was brand new, it was almost five years ago. I'll share my very brief story and then I'm going to kick it over to our guest speaker, Tian. And um, basically, five years ago, I was pretty desperate and uncertain about the direction of my life. And I was very much drowning in debt. I was very unhappy. I was very uh, confused about how we would ever get out of debt. And quite honestly, it was affecting my overall health and wellness. I was up at night. I was um, emotional during the day. I was full of shame because of the impatience I had with my kids and my husband. And it wasn't... Um, uh, Okay, I call it my, my long, dark night of the soul, right? Because it was not a fun time. I wasn't proud. <laughs> I was not proud. And so I remember that night lying in bed and just staring in the dark at the ceiling. Have any of you ever done that? It's not fun. And you start to wonder, is this what life is? And it's frustrating and there's no sparkle and glitter in that moment. And I remember feeling like this can't be all that there is. So I prayed to God and I just said, God, 
you've got to show me a way. You've got to give me an answer. I'm so frustrated. I'm so fed up. I am so down on myself. I can't see a way out of this darkness. And one of the reasons that I was so miserable, you guys, was we were $160,000 in debt. Do you know what that monthly payment is when you've got that kind of debt? And that debt was a result of um, I mean, all of our choices, let's be honest, we put ourselves into the positions we find ourselves in quite often. And I, I've now since learned that you cannot change the direction of the wind when it's blowing, but you can change the direction of your sails. Back then, whenever I faced challenges, I was in the attitude of, I can't believe this is happening to me, right? And I, I was in the victim-minded I wasn't looking for lesson. I wasn't looking for growth opportunity. I wasn't looking for how I was going to overcome a challenge. I was literally like counting down hours until I would go back to bed. That was where I was at, okay? And so if you relate to that, just you know, be honest, transparent, um, private message the person who shares this video with you. Because what we're gonna share here today was an answer to that prayer that I prayed when I said to God, there's got to be a better way. Please get myself out of my way. I know that I am creating a lot of the way that I feel here through the way that I think and my beliefs. Could you please show up in my life like you've never shown up before and show me how I can make a change Use me to affect change in the world. Use me to create impact. I've always had a heart for teaching. Um, in fact, I am a former elementary teacher. And I, I felt like at that time, I was just existing. There was no sparkle and glitter in my life. Like I said, <laughs> like I didn't feel like even facing the day every day, right? Like I wanted to stay in bed as long as possible. And then I was irritable and yelling at my kids. Anyway, it wasn't pretty. Like I said, I'm just, I, I, but I've got to be honest and transparent because my life today is such a 180 that there's oftentimes, I don't think people can relate to who I am today because they didn't know me during my long, dark night of the soul. And so I just want to encourage every one of you watching today. Um, Dominique, thank you for clicking the share button. Martha, hi. Um, I wanted to just say to you that there is a way out. Just pray. Just believe. Just take that leap of faith. And maybe you don't believe in God. That is totally fine. But there is a higher purpose for you. You do have a higher self. You are capable of being more. You are also capable of designing the life that you deserve. And it, you know what it is? It's through service. But first, it starts with taking care of ourselves. First, it starts with prioritizing our health, our wellness, our mental health. Okay. And so when you're not in that space and you don't feel like it's sparkle and glitter, let me assure you, your life is meant to be full of sparkle and glitter and happiness, full of love, full of ease, full of abundance and full of wealth. You were designed for it. I know that with every fiber of my being, because I've lived two different times on public assistance in my adult life two different times. And so for a girl who lives in Montana to go from that and all of my frustration to where I am today as a multimillionaire in fewer than five years, I know it's possible for you because I am proof that it is, okay? And there are many people that I know personally that I've mentored personally that have also achieved that level of success and beyond. And we are going to continue to pour into all of you that are watching this live stream right now. And we've got stories to share. And I'm really fired up for you to hear from Tian. So Tian, I'm gonna just zip it. I'm gonna mute myself because I get so excited when I hear your story. I wanna be like jumping in and being like, yeah! <laughs> so um, for everyone watching, just a quick reminder that as you're listening and you're loving this, please be commenting, please be um, sharing in the comments what you resonate with, please be sharing how you feel vulnerable about what she shares and her story, um, her self-doubt, uh, where she was before, where she is today. And also just know that life is a journey. We're on it together. Thrivers are family. We love each and every one of you. We hold a belief that you are capable of more. And that is why I love so much that Jason chose the hashtag for us this year, Thrive More. So share that video, use the hashtag Thrive More when you do, and you'll be entered to win the 
angel <laughs> prize that I'll be sending out to those uh, lucky viewers. So Tian, come on over. Hey, everybody. Okay, so I'll just quickly share my story for those of you that don't know me or haven't heard it before. I So this month, um, I'll be celebrating my three-year anniversary with Thrive. And this is uh, my third business in direct sales. I was doing another business when I had first heard about Thrive. And quite honestly, health and wellness was not my wheelhouse. I really didn't want anything to do with it. But I also felt awful. I was exhausted. My kids were young at the time and they are 15 months apart. And so I kind of chalked it up to like, this is my life now. I'm going to forever be exhausted, living off of coffee, getting no sleep, being a grouchy mom, approaching 40. So, but I knew deep down there had to be something more like Elise was talking about earlier. And I would pray when I put my kids to bed that tomorrow would be different, that I would be better, that I could be a better mom, I could be a better wife. And I would wake up and it was like Groundhog's Day. It was the same cycle over and over and over because nothing had changed, right? I hadn't changed anything. So I woke up exhausted and did it all again and just tried to survive the day, you know, lived for the it's Friday type of mentality. Um looked forward to when I could take a nap and I was sleeping my life away. And so I had heard about Thrive. This gal had told me I was at a vendor event. She told me that Thrive had changed her life. And I just, I thought she was crazy and I didn't want anything to do with it. Six months pass and I go to this women's luncheon and I run into Heidi Snyder. A lot of you know who she is. She's our 200K leader. And so we didn't know each other. I saw she was a thriver. I wanted nothing to do with her. I thought these thrive people were crazy. She sat across from me and we bonded over the fact that we're both busy moms. And so finally I was like, tell me about this thrive thing. I know that you do it. I saw your patch. I'm exhausted. I'm pretty sure I came with coffee in hand and a fake smile to this luncheon. And she told me more about it. And I was just desperate enough, you guys, to try it. And I was just hoping that it gave me a little bit of energy. And so I remember bringing it home and my husband was like, what is that? How much is that going to cost us? Cause we were broke at the time we were struggling financially. And he said, I said, well, if we get two people to do it with us, it's free. He said, I want nothing to do with it. He's very skeptical. And I said, I just hope it gives me more energy. So I started my thrive experience. And that first day I felt like something was happening, but I wasn't quite sure what was going on. And I thought it was a placebo effect. I thought there's no way it can work this quickly, but I kept going day three rolled around. That's when my whole life changed. You guys, I woke up, everything was clear and focused. I remember calling up Heidi saying, is my vision improving? What's happening here? I called my sister up. I said, I feel like super mom. I'm getting all these things done around the house. And she just laughed at me. I, my husband came home that day and said, who are you? Because all the things had gotten done around the house. I was in a good mood for once. I was laughing and playing with my children. And I remember saying over and over again, I just feel so good. And so that's when he said, okay, I want to try it. And I prayed that it was going to do for him what it was doing for me. And we could do this together as a couple and we could be better parents. And lo and behold, on his third day, he turned to me and said, oh my gosh, this does everything that it says it does. I don't care how much it costs. We have to have this. I'm not going back to the way that we were feeling. So that's when we jumped in. I still wasn't sure about the business side because I had already built up another business for two and a half years that I was invested in. And Heidi said to me, look, you love this product so much. You should promote it. And I said, absolutely not. I had every excuse in the book not to. I didn't have the money. I didn't have the time, all those good things, right? So, but she said, I said, I don't want to be on auto ship. I'd had a bad experience with auto ship. So I didn't want to do that again. Now I know how flexible ours is and how different ours is. But at the time I said, absolutely not. So she said, even more reason why you should become a promoter because it's free to promote. There's no website fee, which I had never heard of that before. That was crazy to me. And she said, you don't have to be on auto ship. So that um, honestly is the only reason why I clicked the promoter button. And then I started looking at the compensation plan. I started looking into how the business works. And I thought, how simple is this? It's, it's just as simple as the three steps. I don't have to do parties. I don't have to have a crazy amount of inventory. This is pretty cool. And then I got, um, I saw that shiny car bonus program and I was really interested in attaining that. So I was like, what if 
I just did what they told me to do and you did these simple steps and connected people to Heidi and she could share her experience and had them like the Facebook fan page and read all the testimonials. I know the product works. It's working for me. It's working for my husband. I felt like I had this secret that I had to tell everybody about. So I kind of just jumped in. I, I did, you know, whatever my leaders told me to do. And when I hit that car bonus program in three months, that's when my vision really opened up at this could be my vehicle to financial freedom. I could help so many people. And so that's when I really was all in at that moment. And I remember in 2017 is when Paul announced on a call that they were doing these amazing bonuses. And at the time there was two different bonuses. There was a reset bonus and there was a rank advancement bonus. And I remember on that call writing down that I was going to hit the 12K reset bonus. My, I was going to get my husband to the 12K rank advancement bonus. And then I was going to hit the 40K rank advancement bonus. That's half the battle, you guys, right there is writing it down and making the decision that you're going to go for it and that you're going to achieve that. As crazy as it may seem and you don't know exactly how you're going to get there, you need to make the decision that you're going to do it. If you say it's going to be too hard or I'm too far away or whatever the excuse is, you're exactly right. That's going to be your reality. But if you make the decision, you're going to go for it no matter what. And there's going to be times where you're going to get derailed in the process. I can remember vividly the last day of the bonus, the system went down, it went dark. We had all these technical difficulties and I wanted to quit. I wanted to give up. I was writing on a posted note, the volume that I still had left to get, to get me to 40 K. And I felt like I was just flying blind, but you have to have faith and know. And if you give up, you're not going to achieve your goal. So that's just, just making the commitment to achieve it and not to give up is the biggest thing. And having a running partner too really, really helps. So me and Heidi chose each other to help us stay accountable and help us run for these massive goals. And it changed our life, changed our life. And then my husband looked at me after we hit those bonuses and he said, he reminded me, you told me when you were on that call that we were going to hit these bonuses and that it was going to be $64,000 in bonuses. I'm sure he thought I was crazy. My own husband. <laughs> but, and then I looked at my vision board and there it was on my vision board with a date next to it. It, it was incredible. It was amazing. So let me ask you a couple of questions about that. So yeah. um, <clears throat> first of all, one tip for everyone listening, name it and claim it. You got to write it down. Second of all, accountability buddy. She called it a running partner. Um, so I just had a brilliant idea as we were watching is you choose your accountability buddy. You set parameters around the conversation, right? There's no complaining, commiserating, no comparing to other people. You get on the phone, you're accountable to one another. What have you completed? How have you moved the needle? What's an idea for how are you going to use attraction marketing? Meaning you're just sharing your lifestyle basically online. 80% of the time is um, your lifestyle and what you're teaching, what you're passionate about, your hobbies. 20% of the time is talking about your product especially using Instagram stories and Facebook stories. I've found that's the key formula there. Um, but with your accountability buddy, you are having matching running shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Because think about the cool photos and um, little videos, like a little boomerang you could be doing wearing your matching running shoes or when you guys get together in Dallas, like what a celebration that would be, right? So think about that. Everyone on your Facebook Live here, what do you think about the idea? Matching running shoes and with your running buddy, using your lifestyle posts, right? Building um, curiosity through your lifestyle posts. And one of the things uh, that I love is um, posting uh, about how incredible you feel but not necessarily being specific about why you feel that incredible like so for example saying I got x y and z done by 9 a.m did you ever do posts like that tm yes absolutely. yeah incredible absolutely. right it builds curiosity it's not here join my team buy my stuff posts that's spam to people they don't like that right they want you they want authentic they want your quirks they want you silly they want you goofy they want you messing up they want you showing up consistently though because that builds the no like, and trust factor, right? They want you teaching them what you're learning in your process, your journey. Um, commit to reading a book a day, a book a week, a book a month, whatever you choose. Teach what you learn. 
short videos, okay? Those are just a couple of things that popped into head, my head while you chatted with them, Tian. But something I wanna ask you was, how have you seen your mindset transform, your belief in yourself, your self-confidence transform on this journey? It's been huge. That has been the biggest takeaway for me in this business is not only feeling better, but my mindset about myself and my confidence has grown. It's, you know, your words are powerful. What you say to yourself is so powerful. And I can look back and know the things that I used to say about myself um, that weren't the nicest, you know, Mm -hmm. and I feel so much I feel like I'm stepping into my power. I'm very excited. I'm so focused. Um, it's, it's, and that's going to come with people. If you're new on here yeah. and you haven't got there yet, just know when you start hearing people texting you and calling you and telling you, thank you, this is changing my life. Your confidence is going to grow from that. We know the product works absolutely. But when you start hearing it from everyone around you, how much their lives have changed, you can't not grow from that and get more excited and more confident about sharing it with other people. So here's a question too. Uh, you said you had negative self-talk. Yes. Do you find that it still happens? Are there times when it'll pop up? Absolutely. Uh-huh. Absolutely. And um, have you have you tracked um, uh, triggers for it? Um, yes, I do. I journal. I remember um, Elise talking about how powerful I knew I should journal more. And I knew about journaling before I met Elise, we met, um, in Las Vegas. And, but when she talked about how powerful it was, and it was just something that you have to do for your business, that was something that I committed to myself doing. And it's, it's really cool that you can go back and you can read what was happening on a particular day or your thought process. Like it's just, it's magical and it's magical what you can see come up from it too. Yeah. Oh, so good. So have you done the challenge that we gave um, over the last two days? That was, everyone is so fired up. They have a vision for themselves. They've named it and claimed it. They've written it down. Have you sent yourself the voice memo on Facebook Messenger yet about your excitement and what your goal is? No, I haven't yet. This is the first time I'm here. I'll do that. (laughs) Brilliant. And when you do it, I want you to do it after you've gone outside and you've been like, you're like, your hands are up and you're like naming it and claiming it and just so much gratitude. And thank you for this opportunity. And I can't believe I'm in the right place at the right time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like that energy, that power, the hands up thing where you're flooding the body with the positive hormones. That's when you then make the voice memo to yourself. You just open yourself up as the contact on the, on the Facebook Messenger app, and then you click that recording your voice um, icon, and you just tell yourself all of the things, just all of the things to your future self, your higher self, your potential. And that's what you're going to be listening to when you face the long, dark night of the soul, or when you face being three feet from gold and you're ready to throw in the towel and give up, right? Because Absolutely. the truth is most people they'll set a goal or maybe they'll kind of in their minds, like, you know, in this sort of kind of, I'm setting a goal thing in my head, but they never write it down. They don't name it and claim it. They don't get an accountability partner. Like the next steps have to happen. You've got to take the action. And then you take the action on the income producing activities every single day. You're doing five, four, three, two, one, 10 X, not just five, four, three, two, one. It won't be enough. I hate to say it. However, if you did five, four, three, two, one, once a day, every single day, you'll probably do better than the person who does 10 X five, four, three, two, one twice and gives up. So pick which uh, consistently consistency level you're going to do. Um, but one of the things I said was when you do the five, four, three, two, one, that's on your off day, your day of rest. Um, the other days you're doing even more of that effort, right? You're getting really into the routine. You're disciplining yourself. It's like running. If you're going to run a marathon, you've got to be consistent in, in training. And, um, So I love that voice memo idea though, because people are very excited and passionate right now. People are definitely, definitely full of energy and we can hear the energy in our voices. And here's another trick, you guys, when you are on the phone with somebody or you're getting into work mode, look at yourself in a mirror and smile at yourself. 
And I've noticed that people that really have a hard time looking in their own eyes have mm. some deeper held beliefs about worthiness. And so practice looking in your eyes and telling yourself you love yourself, that you were designed for greatness, that it is safe for you to be wealthy and just really fill yourself up. Um, remember the YouTube video with little Jessica when she's standing up there on her by her sink in front of her mirror doing her affirmations you all that is you tap into that little girl and access that level of power because what tian said earlier was she had this power it within all along she just needed to access it and start to believe it and cultivate it because what you focus on grows right so anyway to share with them um what would be like the number one tip for taking action every single day because there's a lot of people that will set a goal but then they will sabotage or they'll be too busy or what would you say would be a, your very best tip you got to motivate yourself and i think that's the hardest thing about it for some people right because we don't have a boss telling us what to do mm -hmm. it's ourselves right so i like to make little games out of it to make it competitive and fun um, but what you could do is maybe, you know, don't reward yourself until you reach out to 20 people or whatever it is, set your timer so that you know that you're being intentional and you're not just scrolling on Facebook. Right. right. And then give yourself like some sort of, like, if, if you want to watch a TV show or whatever it is, yeah. like, don't do it until you do the work that you know that you need to do. Yeah. Yeah. If it's so basically you've got to master your calendar. Mm -hmm. I would recommend every Sunday night, spend 30 minutes with the calendar, looking at it, uh, planning out your week, slot in your personal commitments, slot in where you're going to be doing your reach outs, your 54321, um, get with your upline leader and say, hey, I'm going to be bringing you either validation calls or validation three-way message or three-way chat. And when you do this, if it's on your calendar, you guys, it is a commitment to you, to your future self, to the financially free life that you are meant to live. If you sabotage and you don't show up for what's on your calendar, that's red flag time, right? Like you've got to get ASAP with your upline or with your accountability buddy and figure out why you're sabotaging. I love this new book that I found on Amazon called Finish What You Started. If that resonates with anyone, go and purchase it today <laughs> because the only way to overcome these challenges that are holding you back is to actually make the effort to overcome these challenges that are holding you back. Like you've got to take the action. You can learn all day long. You can name it and claim it all day long. But if the action doesn't then line up, you're still just sitting there dead in the water, going nowhere right spinning in circles and we're, we don't got time for that friends do we so tian closing thoughts um personal personal development is huge in this um so spending time to each and every day you know it's hard for me to read a book with kids and whatnot so if you download it on audible that is yes. very helpful but success comes from within so you have to work on yourself uh, to grow. And luckily this business is personal development with a paycheck. So Yay. yeah. <laughs> so also, um, 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 people are probably wondering about which planner to use. So there's a planner called the passion planner, which so many people have loved in our business. You can actually go to their website and get a free download of the layout so that you can get to using a calendar right away. It is a discipline. It does require you to show up for yourself and check that planner every single day, right? It's like you can't just say, I'm getting a planner and fill it in once and then look at it next year because then you'll be like, oh crap, I didn't accomplish anything this last year. <laughs> so I love that planner. I love the um, Brendan Bruchard's high performance planner, uh, the Rachel Hollis planner. I love the law of attraction planner. Which one are you using? You know what? I used the passion planner last year and the year before. And this time I just got a smaller planner that would fit into mm -hmm. my purse better so that I could take it wherever I went. So awesome. it's not, it's not any name brand fancy yeah, one. But totally. Yeah. So, and that reminds me too, you guys is um, when your mind is busy, 
or sorry, when your hands are busy and your mind is free, like you're doing errands, you're driving, turn your vehicle into your online university or your personal development university. That's when you're listening to the audio. That's when you're listening to the podcasts. Okay. And um, so again, if your hands are busy, but your mind is free, you're listening to the personal development. If you're, um, um, at first thing in the morning, I always do a capsule 20 minutes later, lifestyle mix, DFT. And when I do that, the 20 minutes is also a reading time. So I'll, I will often get both books, the hard paper book, as well as the audio book, because I like to have both and be filling it out. And then I, I've built what's called a leadership library so that I can share that with our leaders. When we do our live retreats, I always give away books at those. Okay, so I hope you guys have had some incredible takeaways. Um, I could just go on with so many awesome tips for you about uh, for success principles. Um, but I told I told Tian, we'll keep this one short. <laughs> We're doing good, though. This is 15 minutes shorter than the other videos we've done in the last two days and if you're looking for those other videos you can find them on my facebook profile if you go to albums then click videos or you can also go to my youtube channel which is elisetv.com and you can see all of our training videos the personal development videos the uh book reviews da 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 da, da so many things okay so i'm just reading through some comments here if anyone has any comments on the zoom go ahead and drop them there um i'm looking for your feedback are you loving Having these rally calls, these Zooms, live streams. Um, Beth said to me yesterday, Elise, it's like you're doing a Jerry Lewis telethon. <laughs> <laughs> and I said to Rob last night, I said, honey, we reached thousands and thousands of people. We are helping so many people set a goal, make a plan, get plugged in. Those who show up, go up. I'm committed to being here for you all to help you live the life of your dreams. I know that you can 100% change your life in 90 days. And guess what? Lavelle is giving you 120 days because we have through April. And um, I know for a fact you can, because for me, uh, we hit our car bonus in just three weeks. We earned our 200K rank in just three months. How? Because we set a plan. We duplicated it very fast. We were always hosting back then there were conference calls. Today, people are doing Zooms. I love Zoom too, because people can dial in or they can hop on live with us. And I love how you can link it up to your Facebook too. So if you're loving this, please drop a comment and let us know. And don't forget, if you share the live stream from Facebook, you'll be entered to win the angel gift, which we will be um, surprised to see who earns that and uh, tags us with the picture of what it is because it's a big surprise. Okay, love you guys. Thank you and Thank enjoy you so your Sunday. Tian, you're a rock star. I'm so proud of you for just last minute saying, Yes, I'll totally jump on and share my story. Of course. I would never tell you no. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love you. So we will talk to you soon. Are you coming to Charlotte? I am not. <laughs> well, we were just together in Seattle. So we were. Thank That's you for okay. coming too. That was amazing. Oh, well, it was incredible, wasn't it? It was. So, so incredible. Well, thanks everyone again. And we will talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.